Okay, we are talking about Torchwood again, and this time <laughs> a Jack-centered episode. Finally, yes, we're in the final stretch of Torchwood series one. It's almost done. I'm so excited. <laughs> Like, Jack and Tosh go off to see, like, this anomaly at this old mansion. They go in. This mysterious, like, guy who we assume is, like, the butler or whatever shows up. After interacting with him, they find that they're in the same building in, like, 1940-something. And they're, like, stuck there. There's no way out. Meanwhile, Yanto and uh, Owen are stuck in the base trying to get them out. They can't really figure out any way to do it. So Owen is just like... Let's open the Cardiff Rift. The Rift is what's been causing all these timey-wimey shenanigans to happen. If we open it, we can get him back. And also, I can probably get my girlfriend back. What is Gwen doing for most of this story again? I think she's just looking around the present version of the building. Yeah. Like, trying to help the two groups communicate. And so, eventually, like, Yanta tries to decide us to stop him. But Owen just opens the rift. It succeeds. It brings Jack and Tosh back. And that brings us to what happens in End of Days. Part of why I feel like it's good that we're talking about this and end of days, sort of one right after the other, is that I actually don't have a lot of notes for Captain Jack Harkness just as an episode. I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of how it feels, a lot of how it plays, goes with it being a lead into end of days. And so I don't know. How did you feel about this one just as an episode? I enjoyed this one. I felt very emotional. I felt out for Jack because you know he's slowly falling for this guy that he knows is going to die. And I like how they get to know each other over the course of this episode. I also I like Tasha's role in this episode a lot. Mm -hmm. Like this is the episode that cemented for me. Like Tasha's great. I really, really like her. And she and Jack have a cool dynamic. That whole bit is really fun. I'm going to hazard a guess and assume that you are still annoyed with Owen, which yeah. would make perfect sense because he is spiraling badly in this episode. Yeah, pretty much. And he, the only thing he's thinking about is getting his girlfriend back. What was her name? Diane? Yep. Yeah, that's all he's really thinking about. And uh, we'll get into the next episode why that bugs me. Yeah, here he is just spiraling and doesn't care if he destroys the world. Once again, this all and thinking about himself and that's all that matters well i mean as we'll get into there's going to be a lot of problems with the solution that they ultimately come to that that leads to the stuff in end of days but at the same time owen is not like thinking on this level at all but it's also true of just well okay then how do they get back because mm -hmm. there really is doesn't seem to be any alternative. It's supposed to be one of those things like, okay, you can sacrifice us if it's going to put the wolf in jeopardy. Is what yeah, and there's a line in here about Owen being second in command, and I'm just like, wait, he is? Since when? I mean, I uh, suppose that makes sense, but I feel like we should have mentioned that before now, if that's the case. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think who would probably be better. Um, the Pizza Girl would probably be a better second command, so... I feel like yeah. we've ever established that until now. No, nah, I still wouldn't trust him. I still trust the guy with the tea, who makes the tea more than him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, true. This is just a really nice, kind of low-key, not too much is going on episode. I like the portrayal of the period and what's going on with the war and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like how we'll have moments where everyone sort of has to go down into a bunker because the bombs are dropping. And it's this real tense moment of like, oh gosh, is this party going to go real south? Okay, no, there's like a genuine sense of relief when everything's okay and everyone goes back to having fun and stuff. Awesome. And what do you think about the time guy? Right, Billis. Billis Manger. He's weird. And again, it's hard just going on this episode alone to judge. In the context of Captain Jack Harkness, I can't say much about him because we don't know what his deal is. He's just kind of there. We can assume that he causes Tashiko and Jack to get lost in time, but we don't really know that for sure. We don't know what his motivation is, if he has any, what he wants. He's just kind of there to be like, here's a mysterious figure who we will expand upon next week, you know? Yeah, he's just kind of a creeper. <laughs> I will say, I think his performance is too silly. <laughs> like especially for this episode which is generally a bit more serious he's yeah. a very very over the top presence yeah uh he, 
he just, like I said, he's just kind of creeper for me, kind of cartoony creeper. It doesn't really fit with the rest of the tone that they're going for. This very old school, old timey, upper crust British thing going on, and it's yeah. it's really <laughs> it's it sounds like a cartoon. Yeah. And like, I don't know, maybe that's the point. Maybe that's supposed to make him more off putting, but I don't know. It's a bit weird. It's just a really nice little story without too much really going on, except for Yanto and Owen. You know, that stuff's very intense, but I feel like this is a very on the surface episode. Everything about it that works is very clear and like yeah. obvious. It's like Jack and Jack together is very like heartwarming but also sad and it's like yeah that much is obvious tosh has a lot of great moments and she has to deal with people being dumb and racist and stupid and dumb and <laughs> that much is obvious the yanto and owen stuff is alternatively annoying or just really tense because like really the cracks are starting to show now just with everyone is kind of being the worst of themselves but especially owen and it's all building up to like this dynamic is now a powder keg and end of days is going to be where it explodes this isn't an episode where i can take a lot of notes on like subtext wider deeper implications that aren't totally obvious i don't think probably not like i said it's just more of a just watching jack and jack be together and just you know watching this kind of romance play out knowing what's going to happen at the end also dealing with the war aesthetics and stuff i will say the episode does a good job of making me like not immediately sure of whether or not real Jack is gay. He has that whole relationship with uh, that woman and our Jack is encouraging him do all that this could be the last chance you ever get to see this person like go be with her spend the night and he doesn't do it and you think it's just because he doesn't want to like attach too quickly before he goes off because he knows he's gonna die but it's because he's in the closet <laughs> and she's not really the person he wants to be with and it's sad and she didn't do anything wrong but that's just the way it is man I could tell, like, very first time I watched this, that was, was kind of happening. Because I just could tell he, he was not into her. Like, every time he was talking with Jack, it just felt like there was some kind of vibe happening. When she yeah. Was, you gotta wonder, like, what was the rest of that party like after they left? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was gonna say about the ending, they just kind of make out. And then there's a big, huge portal that opens up. And they're like, everybody's just standing there. He's like, okay. Uh, <laughs> they like, just left it. <laughs> Like, either one of two things happened. Like, either history, like, corrected itself and they were never there to begin with, mm -hmm. or that was just a really awkward night for everybody. <laughs> what do we deal with first? The fact that a captain is gay or the fact that, like, a couple of angels came down and, like, got raptured right in front of us or, like, in a wormhole to wherever open. It's like, I don't know. It's, I kind of want to, like, stay in the scene after Jack and Tosh leave just for a minute. Have <laughs> someone be like, huh. <laughs> I think they didn't do that because it would kind of ruin the moment. But you know, if they didn't lose their memories of what happened, it was just a very awkward moment for everybody. Yeah. So this will come up kind of in End of Days. But we do something with uh, Yanto and Owen where we compare Owen having lost Diane to Yanto having lost Lisa. I feel kind of so bad for Yanto and just like the handling of Cyberwoman because we'll get into this more with when we do sort of series overview. But when we get into that, it's like, this is actually, I think, been mostly a pretty good example of taking standalone episodes and using that to build kind of a bigger emotional arc for a season. Whether or not, like, the emotions land, I think it's handled well from, like, a structural standpoint. I just wish that Cyber Woman was a better episode. Now we're starting to, like, really call back to it and we keep going back to, like, that that was an important thing like you can't just skip it but it was so bad <laughs> and that was his episode too to get to know him better and stuff and it's like it's so terrible on every level most people want to skip that episode yeah the comparison between the two relationships i'm not 100 sure how i feel about that because i didn't write exactly what the dialogue was but i think one of them says something i think it's yanto talking about how he lost lisa and he has to put up with it so owen has 
to put up with losing Diane. And I'm like, I'm not sure if the circumstances there are entirely comparable. That you lost Lisa technically the moment that she became a cyber person, but you refused to let her go and that caused all the problems. And maybe that's what he's talking about, but I'm not sure. Well, that would make him a bit of a hypocrite. Yeah, and maybe that's what I mean by like, maybe that's what he's talking about. Maybe he's like, I did the same thing and it almost got all of us killed. Don't do that also. I feel like this is a very sort of clear episode. <laughs>